Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So um, when I showed the Christmas coloring books and supplies that I received for, uh, oh, there I said that, for Christmas, um, Rhonda mentioned in the comment section that she would like to see a flip through of this Whimsical Girls um, with Jane Davenport Happy Hour Art Journal uh, to do a flip through of it. So I thought, sure, why not? So here we go. I'll try not to talk a lot. You know what? I realize it annoys me, even me, like when I'm looking through a flip through or watching a flip through on YouTube and somebody talks a lot. I'm like, so I'm going to try not to talk a lot. <laughs> so. just the um, introduction about Jean and it kind of tells you about the art journal because this has got different types of paper in it um, so you can use all types of mediums wet and dry um, you know uh, markers pens paints whatever you want it's basically for you it's like an art journal for you to be very creative with so it's got some more uh, it tells you how to use the book and uh, use coloring paper, craft paper, marker paper, watercolor paper, collage paper, and a sticker sheet. Um, and then it tells you, you know, stamp, draw paint, daub, spritz, and splash. Do your thing, girl or boy. Um, and then this one, this side has a happy hour time sheet on it when it says life is busy, but your creativity is important. Whether you can take a block of time or gather little snippets here and there, track your creative time with this time sheet, get in 60 minutes a week and it's a happy hour. I kind of like that idea. So, I just really, really like the idea of coloring these really um, whimsical, creative, like different um, illustrations. Live with one foot in a fairy tale. And it's kind of got color palettes, like, let me see, this is kind of wide. Color palette over here, you know, it just kind of guides you. But, you know, you can do whatever you want to do, obviously. I really liked this one with the hair. I thought it was fun. And I believe the pages are perforated. Yes, they are. They're perforated, so you can tear them out. And then, like, uh, this page over here, sorry, just has, like, quotes, like, different quotes and, and things like that. And then, um, then usually the illustration to color or paint or do whatever is on the following page. Oops, didn't mean to hit the camera. I didn't realize I had perforated pages until I just started doing this. I didn't really, I looked through it uh, on Christmas when I got it, but I haven't sat down and gone through it page by page yet. I'm doing laundry, so you might be able to hear that in the background. <laughs> Fifty percent unicorn, forty percent mermaid, ten percent artist. That's funny. I see your preciousness. Of course, that makes me think of Gollum. I see your preciousness. That was a little bit better than my impersonation of the Swedish chef, right? <laughs> <laughs> These are like, uh, oops, sorry. Landscape. She knew it through and through right down to her inky depth. It's really nice. Really, really neat. I'm very glad to have this book. Okay, instantly when I look at this, didn't I say I wasn't going to talk that much? Instantly when I look at this, I think of a runaway bride. Oh my 
gosh, something's thumping around in my washing machine. <laughs> That's what happens when you let your husband load the washing machine. I like this. Face your problems. You will discover that you are far more capable than you thought. Ain't that the truth, sister? This is really pretty, too. But there's just so much possibility with these. You know what I mean? There's like so much you can do. You can add to the illustration. You can leave it blank. You can, you know, with the backgrounds, you can leave it blank or you can do whatever you want. In my case, paint it one color and put white dots all over everything. Because <laughs> that's what I do. Oh, that's my idea of being arty. Now this is a uh, different paper here, it's thinner. So it would be more probably, I guess, for uh, drawing, colored pencils, things like that. Look how gorgeous this is right here. Isn't that fantastic? Faces. I'm telling you, I have a wonky washing machine. I have a cat behind me on my chair, clawing it up, being a weirdo. Her tail is in my ear, you guys. She keeps putting, <laughs> she keeps putting her tail in my ear, and I have a ponytail, so my hair's up and it's tickling me. Ugh. Raja, stop it. Did you hear? Meow. <laughs> Ooh, I love that. Oh, I love it. Fabulous, 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 fabulous. book just gives me inspiration and I guess that's what it's supposed to do right it's supposed to inspire us we are spinning like mad confetti Now this paper is very thick, uh, like a cardstock. I'm not making a mess, I'm making a life. I just, I'm so excited to work in this book. I had it in my cart at Amazon for so long. And finally I told Keith, I want this. Just, I put it on my Christmas list. <laughs> when they told me no, I thought for you maybe, but not for me, Cindy Lopper. And this is neat. It's got like the, um, like little eyes, eyes and the colors and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. She's got fairy wings. Paper's thicker, so it's harder for me to 
to uh, turn the pages. And this is super thick. I mean, this is like a really, really thick. I like this. Believe and sparkle. Uh, yeah, I believe this is watercolor paper. Yeah, it says right down there. The watercolor paper. Look at that. It's beautiful. And this. Oh, I love it. I love it. You will always have more than a single chance. And this is like really thin. And then here are the stickers. So you can see them anyways. Really nice. And that is the end of that. So it says 1995 US, 2695 Canada on it. But I believe like, I think in the Amazon it was around 16 or $15. And I, I imagine Keith probably got this for me out of, from Barnes and Noble because he's a Barnes and Noble uh, person. So he gets all his books and stuff there because uh, he gets like free shipping and a discount, whatever that. He's a rewards member, you know, where you pay the membership or whatever. So, but I love this book. It's just gorgeous and it's, it's beautiful to look at, even if you didn't want to do anything with the, with the blank pages, but you know, just to look at the art in it is very inspiring, but I can't wait to just let loose. And I love color. That's one of the reasons why I love coloring in the Deborah Muller books so much. And I love coloring fantasy create like women or creatures so much because I don't have to stick to the normal flesh tones with them. I feel so much more comfortable going in to color somebody with green skin, purple skin, blue skin, pink skin than I do a normal flesh palette. I just get really nervous because I don't feel like I'm confident enough in my skills as a colorist to to do the, you know, like a realistic flesh tone, no matter what, whether it's a darker skin tone or a lighter skin tone, I always feel nervous no matter what. Um, but when it's a fantasy character and I can make it green or purple or blue or whatever, I feel so excited and so comfortable doing that. So, so I really like this. I like how it's very, you know, whimsical and you can just use whatever colors make you happy, you know? So there you go, Rhonda. There's your flip through of Whimsical Girls and everybody else who watched. I also, um, thank you for watching and, um, taking a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. That means a lot to me. So I will see you guys in the next video.